Hello friends, welcome to the Angular Form tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what is set value and the patch value, and what is the different uh, difference between these two, and how we use uh, the set value and the patch value in the Angular. So basically, um, there is a scenario like if we want some data from any API or services, and we want to set those data to the uh, our HTML control, then basically we use the set value and the patch value, and the difference between these two like uh, it is basically the set value is used to set all the control value from component to HTML and the patch value is like you can use it to set the few control value or the all the uh, uh, control value you can set it uh, uh, like uh, th there is a scenario like uh, I want to set some control value then basically uh, for the set value it does not doesn't load the data but for the patch value it load the uh, data. So let's understand more um, this set value and the patch value using an example. So go to the Visual Studio Code, and here we uh, in the uh, previous tutorials we, we created a one HTML form that is user registration form. So in this user registration form we have some control like name, age, and password and the city, and um, we um, have created this registration form using the form group and the form control. Like as I explained, form, form group is basically a uh, collection of the form control and uh, when we use form um, group and form control, we have to initialize the controls. So uh, now let's save it first and see uh, what is showing in the browser with the um, previous uh, uh, tutorial. So we can see like it is showing a student registration form and with some controls. So now what I will do, what is my requirement is uh, I want a button and when I click on this button, it should set the respective data to the respective control. So I'll take one button and the uh, type of the this button will be the submit only. And the class I will take as button button secondary. And I will uh, write load data. So let's save it and see first what it is showing on the browser. So it will show one load uh, data button here. Now what we want when we will click on this button, it should load uh, these control with the data. So uh, I will attach a one click event to this. And I will write the button name as a load data. Now I will define this load data in the component.ts. So here I will define this one. So it's a function. So as a function, I will define the value. And here I will define this value as this dot registration form dot. Now I want to set the value to the control. So set values. So uh, now uh, for set the value bracket then curly braces and here it is saying like the new value for the control that matches the structure of the group like all the control if it is matches with the structure of the group the set uh, the value of the form group it accept an object that matches the structure of the group with control name as key like what it is saying like all the control name it set the value as a key. So we'll understand it. So what it is trying to say, like the control name, like name, it set as a key. So uh, we have to assign the name here. And age, I will take like 26. Here I will take password as 123. Confirm password as 123 and now address address then city because address is the nested group form group basically so city i will take delhi state i will take as rajasthan so we have defined with this function this function we have defined and we have assigned all the value. Now let's save it and see on the browser and click on that button. So it's loaded. 
now if i will click on this button all data should load here so if i click here we can see it is loading the all the control data and we can see like for password it is showing as a one two three one two three now what i do here what is my requirement that i don't want to load data for the sum control like i don't want to load the data for city and address so i'll delete this and save it now let's go on the browser and here when i click on this load data see it is not loading any data and if i go to the f12 and we see here what is saying must supply value for form control with address like for, it is expecting to supply value for the address also so uh, that's why that set value is not working now what we will do we will replace this set value with the patch value and now let's save it and see on the browser now click on this load data it should load the data for the remaining fields like we can see it is loading the data for name uh, age age and the password and confirm password it's not loading for this so this is the way this uh, patch value works like it works for the uh, supersets and the subset as well so uh, basically that is the difference between the set value and the patch value and uh, uh, it is useful when we want to fetch data from api and services and want to set all these data into the respective control then we use the set value and the patch value so that is all about the uh, this uh, tutorial if you have any question please comment thank you